All right, what do we got here? Stranger's glider. The stranger who calls himself Sir Nigel left his glider on a perch somewhere nearby in the west. He asked us to watch over it and make sure no one uses it, but it has been months since we last saw him. I believe enough time has passed that our obligation to look over his glider is no longer valid. It is irresponsible for him to just leave a glider on a mountain like that. If someone steals it, it will be his fault, not ours. Did someone say glider to the west? Intriguing. I'll never check it out, but very intriguing. <laughs> Ajay, you're just in time. Pagan's broadcast is starting. What's this about? No clue, brother. But we're going to find out. Good people of Kirat. I'm sure you will all be delighted to know that the reports of my death are completely and utterly inaccurate. I am alive, and all is right in the world. The life brings change, and I implore you, Kirat, to look to my example and see it as the positive influence it is. Change requires strength, and it is a strength that I know all of you possess. Now, I recently experienced change within my own organization. Miss Knorr and Paul Deplore, after years of dedicated service, have decided to move on. I'm sure you will all join me in wishing them well in their future endeavors. But like them, we must look forward, not back. The attempt on my life is nothing more than a symptom of resistance to change. Rest easy. For Yuma Lao, my trusted commander-in-chief, who oversees our mining operations at the KEO facility, stands between me and any would-be assassin. She would rather die than see any harm come to me. Go ahead, I challenge you. Put her resolve to the test. To summarize, change is good. Embrace it. Your king is alive. Rejoice. And Yuma stands like a sentinel, waiting. Bring it on. Boy, did you just issue a direct challenge to me? Sounds like he's calling us out. The mines. You know what to do. Is, is this a choice or just a go go do some shit? Okay. <laughs> All right. That's it. There's go. All right. Go to the mines. Go fuck her up. He <laughs> gave her exact location to see what kind of crazy shit we can get up to. Really, really dumb idea, honestly. Alright, let's go fuck some shit up. Preferably Yuma as well. I already captured her fortress, so... <laughs> Good luck to her. Hold up. Hey, little buddy. I noticed you're inside of a cage, and it's a little off-kilter, so I will do you a favor. Get on out. Okay. I've spent a lot of my life apologizing for Yuma's first impressions. She has a remarkable ability to make consistently terrible introductions. I'd love for you two to meet on better terms. She really has been the driving force behind most of my successes. She forges deals with my international buyers. She uh, polices Noor and Deplore. She even finds time to run my army. Well, that is until her recent obsession with Kirati superstition took a hold of her. She thinks I don't know about the expedition she's been sending up the mountains looking for magical paintings or whatever it is. I'm as open as the next fellow about negligible losses for the sake of employee morale, but only so many pins can go missing from the stationary cupboard before someone has to lose a hand. <laughs> only so many pins. <laughs> okay. He does like his pens. He did stab someone with it. 
So is he just straight up telling me, hey, go kill Yuma for me? She's kind of, you know, being more of a loss than a gain at this point. I mean, okay. You know, I actually wanted to finish all the Thonka missions before confronting Yuma, so that way I could be more in tune with her beliefs, so I can understand where she's coming from. But, uh, I guess to be honest, you wouldn't really know what the hell she's talking about, because she doesn't have any of the Thonkas at all. I think. Such for Yuma. This sounds- this is a big trap. I'd like to read. Thank you. Dergish security protocols follow-up. Please find and close a sample of our improved airborne toxin. We have found a new strain of the Yatsa Gunbu, Cordyceps Senesis, which has a far more potent effect on our, uh, on our initial subjects. In synthesizing the strain, we've witnessed remarkable results with coercion and implanting of test subjects suffering from gripping visual hallucinations. We will keep you informed, but I believe this is a breakthrough for our recent security problems in Durgesh Prison and Kirat at large. Um, Cordyceps Senesis. That sounds like a great way to have a zombie disease. Or infection. Actually, that sounds like an awful idea. Uh, expedition report number four. General Yuma, I need confirmation that you want us to continue with this endeavor. We have lost half of our men to the mountain, and so far we have found no traces of the Shangri-La Thankas or the monastery that the intel told us would be at these coordinates. To carry on with the excavation, we will need more men and supplies. Morale is low here, and my men are suffering from altitude sickness and frostbite. I await your orders. Well, are her orders what's back here? Nope. Oh, Sir Nigel! I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. Visions never lie. Visions have spoken. Yuma, my poor dear, in the name of the Lord, you are going to die. I'm sorry to break it to you this way, but it's the honest truth. As blunt as could be, you're going to know the worst fate there is unless you leave. Run. Run like hell. Run until Karat is no more than a memory. This is your only option, Sir Nigel. Well, you know what? You must have listened to Sir Nigel. She is about to get fucked up if she's actually in here. Uh, uh, I'm a little weary, a little bit cautious about things in here. The Sanskrit Scrolls. The only person I could track down in the shithole of a country to translate Sanskrit in De Bleu delivers him to me half dead. Oh, wait. The only person I could track down in this shithole of a country to translate Sanskrit and Deplur delivers him to me half dead. He managed to translate a few pieces of the skull from the last expedition before he bled out. Demons had invaded Changula. Not of this earth, not of clear mind. Someone, something wanted Changula for themselves. Are these demons the protectors of Rakshasha? Was this the voice of Kalignak? I need to source another translator. Uh oh. Oh god, not the tripping out shit. God damn it. Fuck. I like how we just accept like, all right. Let's hope we can survive this time. A set taking sense of boy like you to kill me. After everything I did for him! Before your whore of a mother came along, he was hey. fearless! Nobody could stand up to him! Then your mother... Your mother... Fucked his brains out, and they had a kid that was, you know, she did a pretty good job! She did exactly what she was intending. Dear security, AJ follow-up. Please find the... a sample of our truth. Find... the truth sample... Or rather, the truth is that Karat was always going to change you. That's why we never discussed home. Mom. Oh, wow. Okay. Please find the a sample of Truth Airborne Serum. It is, is, have found a new that of the, wow, this just, okay, so they just threw in words in caps for us to translate. We knew that Karat would change you. When you side with Hamata, you chose to desecrate your own heritage and spit on the gods. Well, yeah, I guess. Oh, there she goes. Or him, Sabal. Oh. When you sided with the meter. Chose to desecrate your own heritage and spit on the gods. 
if this is true stuff over here, Jesus, the ball's an asshole. No, I can't help him anymore. Uh-uh. Amata's probably the same way. We can't trust anybody. She weakened his resolve. She turned him into this simpering shell of a man. He stopped being a king that day. He was broken. Weak. Oh gosh, so Paul's really fucked up. Is this showing what he's going to do or what he's already done? Because either way, that's fucked up. Is this showing me Sabal because he was the last choice I made? Or is it just showing him in general so that way I can be like, oh boy, Sabal is a bit of a prick. Uh oh. Yay, Yuma and Kalignag. Destroy the gate with my infinite arrows. Oh shit, hello! Slowing down time! Like she said, we are in our own Kalignog. Ow, Jesus. Take him down, take him down! There we go. I tried to do a takedown, but the animations were way too slow. Is he still alive up there? I'd like it if he killed himself. Oh, just barely missed. I, I think he killed himself. Good job, you. Haha! -ha! I have used the explosives to my own advantage. No, he's still alive. You know, this whole aiming with an arrow thing is actually a little bit more of a bitch now that I'm like swaying back and forth rather than being consistent. So is that everybody? Oh fuck, seriously. There we go. Well, I guess we're clear. Alright. And the only thing I can ever use in this area is I lied my bow. Myself. I thought he would get better. He had to get better. But no. <laughs> what is broken stays broken. It stays weak. But Pagan will not break me. This country will not break me. And you, you will not break me. I don't really have any intention to break you. I think I have an intention to kill you, honestly. I think I am totally okay with Pagan Min becoming more of a mellow and chill dude. I like him as he is. Dictator and all. Well, okay, maybe not the dictator part, but still. You just seem like a crazy lady obsessed with religion and stuff like that, or rather, Kalignog. And you want it for very selfish reasonings. And that's fucked up, honestly. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to go from here? Uh, should I fly? Should I go along the walls? Because we did a rope thing to there, then we climbed the wall, and it brought us all the way up to here. So, aha, here we go. There's a grappling point a little bit further up. Pay attention to the light. The light will bring us home. The light will make us whole. Sins against the gods can only be washed away with blood. Ooh. Ow! Jesus! See me my cleansing. Jesus. Alright, can we, you know, stop one handing Sabal so much? I get it. He's a fucking douchebag. I knew that way before. That's why I chose him Amita twice and him once. So, what about Amita? What would her beliefs be? Does she think. I mean, she kind of has line, uh, like thoughts kind of similar to Pagan Min. Change. Change requires strength. All that kind of stuff. 
You got me. What the hell? Let's stop playing this game. Shogwa. Um, um, um. Okay, we're good. No, what wait, stranger danger. Really Shoot her. No toys in bed. Fuck. <sighs> hey! Time to do what Pagan would never do himself. Time to kill you and mix your mother's ass and pig blood. <laughs> I just killed Kalagnog really quickly. I don't know if he's gonna respawn, but uh, there you go. Please don't mix my mother's ashes and pig blood. Oh god, fucking hunters! Shit. Where's my tiger? Oh god! The tiger is against me! Haha! -ha! But the explosives are on my side. Or rather, they're just very neutral. You know what I could do? Slow down time. I gotta shoot the fucking tiger. I wanted to slow down time and get a headshot on Colic Mouth. There you go. So that way I can focus him down. So, uh, as I was saying earlier, if I had done the Thonkers, I guess I would have been more in line with what, again, Yuma was trying to do with this whole trying to kill you, uh, Kalagnog thing. Oh, God, damn. He just jumped straight forward and hurt me. These guys are doing a fucked load of damage. Oh, but that is okay because I have very large explosions. Did I just stab the shit out of Yuma? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Well, this was a traumatizing event for uh, AJ. <laughs> Oh no, man, that was some really fucked up shit. I... she put me on this thing, it was implied that she was gonna try and do crazy things to me, then she shot me in the face, and then I wasn't really dead, I had to fight her as Kalagnog, which I guess... means she was... kind of still doing what she wanted, right? She wanted to become Kalagnog, she wanted to become, you know, powerful in Shangri-La and all that stuff. So for us to fight her in the equivalent of her Shangri-La was like, ah, I see what you're doing there. But it wasn't a real Shangri-La. It was all in our head. Oh gosh. Well, the good news is I should have, yep, the last health thing unlocked. Now I have six. And I can be really content. We can throw all the rest of my points into these, I guess. Let's see. We don't care about karma boosts. So I could do duration boost on the survival syringe and maybe even the focus syringe. Oh, the focus runs lets me breathe longer? I didn't realize that. 
Underwater. I completely forgot about that part. Should have been using that in some other places, but eh, we haven't had to swim too much. We're gonna max out the duration on this. And then throw the rest of the points into the focus syringe, because why not? So how many missions do I have left? We have... Six. Oh boy. So I should probably actually get around to doing the Longinus mission, maybe a Yogi mission, although there are no Yogi missions, what? The world's tripping out, man. I guess we should just go straight over to Sabal and Amata and be like, alright, let's try our best to fuck over Pagan Min. Oh boy. Woohoo! Woohoo! We are survivors! Oh, never mind. We are definitely no longer survivors. <laughs> the ATV said, oh, that's a mountain at top speed? Yeah, it's not. We're not surviving that, dude. God damn. Ah. Well, I will totally be fine if we no longer have any other mind trippy things happen to me. Although that wasn't, that was pretty straightforward. Forward. We were just shooting the shit out of, you know, hunters and the Kalagnog and the people who were hunters inside the Kalagnog illusion were actually just normal soldiers who were in the room with us. We probably never left the room, honestly. She probably just fucked, us with, fucked with us as we ran around in circles or something. Oh, I put us all the way back here. God. Well, you know what? That's fine. There was actually a glider on the mountain. And maybe that's the glider that Sir Nigel was talking about, right? Or rather, that Sir Nigel wanted to have protected. And, you know, I'm glad that he wants to be protected, because now I can just use it to get the hell out of here. Uh, if it's still here. I see no glider on the map. Whoop, oh, there it is. I see it visually. First. All right, Sir Nigel. We fly. How far away are they anyways? Oh, shit. They're actually really far away. I thought they were going to be around the place where Longinus was. Oh. Well, never mind. Let's go to Longinus, in Longinus instead. I have a couple missions for him anyways. I really need to clear out some of these outposts. We still have, uh, let's see... Uh, eight? <laughs> we have eight exactly left over. Okay. Oh! The unknown location here might be what I was looking at beforehand when I thought we were looking at Rajad Gulag. Just as a random note, as I was looking at the map, a revelation as to where things were. Alright, we are going to try and descend in a pretty quick manner. But I guess that's still gonna mean I need to use a wingsuit! No! Dude, alright, whatever, fun. I lived. <laughs> Ooh, is that next to us? I mean, if it is, nah, it's pretty far away, alright. 